The F-22 is the world's first fifth-generation fighter. The Raptor was well ahead of its time. It was so revolutionary that it is still classified. Unlike, for example, the more recent F-35, which is shipped to several countries. At the moment, both American fighters are considered the best stealth fighters in the world. F-22 Raptor versus sixth generation. The new F-22 Raptor is coming. The experience of using aviation in Syria showed that only F-22 and F-35 fighters were able to withstand modern air defense systems. And although the Russian Su-57 and the Chinese J-20 have already appeared, American aircraft continue to be the best. Indeed, unlike foreign competitors, they're mass-produced, are in service, and perform combat missions. However, the U.S. Air Force needs a new stealth aircraft. According to the military, Fifth-generation technologies are rapidly becoming obsolete because countries are actively developing air defense systems. Meanwhile, the options for upgrading existing fifth-generation aircraft are severely limited. Therefore, the United States needs a new, technologically advanced, multi-purpose aircraft capable of performing a wide range of combat missions, from reconnaissance to bombing. Moreover, it must be a fighter. The United States has such an aircraft, we are talking about the sixth generation fighter, which is being developed as part of the National Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program. The U.S. military expects there to be a human piloted version and an unmanned vehicle. After the start of serial production of NGAD, one of the fighters currently in service with the U.S. Air Force must leave the scene, F-22 or F-35. Experts point to the Raptor. The reason is simple, money. The fact is that the Raptor cannot be sold, unlike the F-35. Obviously, NGAD will also be advanced and therefore highly classified, and it's extremely unprofitable to have in the arsenal two fighters banned from export. That is why the clouds are gathering over the Raptor, and only its undeniable advantages can save this exceptional aircraft from decommissioning. Will the F-22 Raptor stand up to the sixth-generation fighter? Now you will find out everything. The prototype of the Lockheed Martin F-22 fighter, indexed YF-22, entered the competition with the Northrop YF-23 Black Widow II aircraft in 1990. Lockheed Martin won in large part thanks to its emphasis on low radar signature and maneuverability. We have already talked about the confrontation between the two options for the future fighter, so we will not delve into this topic now. If you missed this video, then look for it on our channel. The first prototypes of the F-22 took off in 1994. Serial production of the Raptor began in 1997. In early 1999, the first serial production F-22 entered the Nellis Military Base, Nevada. And in 2004, combat units began to switch to the new fighters. The F-22 is powered by two F-119 type turbojet engines with afterburners which provide the aircraft with 70,000 pounds of thrust. In comparison, this is 40% more than the F-15 Eagle. The F-119 engines allow the Raptor to reach Mach 1.4 without the afterburner, thereby increasing the flight range. And this is an important factor for an aircraft that cannot carry outboard fuel tanks in combat conditions. With the afterburner, the speed of the Raptor increases to Mach 2.25, the onboard radar station, BRLS, of the AN-APG-77 aircraft is not only capable of detecting the enemy first, but also gives the F-22 pilot the opportunity to be the first to open fire. Not a bad advantage in aerial duel. Armament The Raptor has three internal weapon bays. One of them is intended for suspension of AIM-9M X Sidewinder missiles with an infrared homing head. The firing range is 65 miles. In the central compartment, satellite-guided JDAM bombs can be suspended. In addition, the F-22 is equipped with a six-barreled 20mm M61A2 Gatling gun hidden in the right wing. The rate of fire is monstrous. The ammunition is only enough for five seconds of continuous fire. The design of the F-22 provides maximum stealth from onboard radar stations of enemy fighters 
ground-based radar equipment of radio-technical and anti-aircraft missile forces. Low radar signature was originally conceived as a key feature of the F-22. The shapes of the aircraft were modeled and calculated on the Cray supercomputer. The surface of the Raptor is covered with radio-absorbing materials and special paint. The mechanization of the wings, the hatch doors of the compartments for aircraft weapons, exhaust cones, and nozzles of the engine are designed so as to minimize the radar signature of the aircraft, and the inclined tail fin reduced the fighter's visibility from certain angles in the infrared spectrum. In addition to stealth, the F-22's strengths include maneuverability, which is rated at 9.4 points out of 10 possible. This is also due to the Cray supercomputer. For example, the more recent F-35 has a maneuverability indicator of only 8.5 points. Maneuverability is provided by a variable thrust vector. This technical solution allows the plane to combine engine power with maneuvering at certain angles of attack which gives an advantage in aerial duels with competitors. It turns out that the Raptor is good not only in ranged combat, but also in duels at close range. What are the advantages of a sixth generation fighter? To begin with, Lockheed, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman corporations are involved in the development of next generation air dominance. These are the most advanced companies in the world with key technologies in the areas of stealth and engine building. NGAD can be flown without a pilot. This is the global difference between the new fighter and the most advanced fighter of previous generations. This means that the success of a combat operation is not affected by the pilot's qualifications or health. Aircraft crash statistics show that the main reason for the loss of an aircraft is the human factor. The sixth generation fighter is capable of operating with reduced operational risk in previously unavailable conditions. Moreover, it is able to act as the flagship of an entire aviation group, which can include both attack drones and reconnaissance drones. In such a configuration, the F-22 pilot simply will not have a chance to survive, just like a pilot of any other fifth-generation fighter. In addition, without a pilot, NGAD will be able to reach the highest possible speed. The developers talk about the indicators 5M, not a single person is able to withstand such loads, even for a limited time. NGAD will receive a carrier-based version that will replace the fourth-generation attack fighter aircraft FA-18E F Super Hornet and the electronic warfare aircraft EA-18G Growler. It turns out that the new sixth-generation fighter will be able to cover several positions for the Air Force and the Navy at once. Recall that the Raptor does not have a deck version armament. It is known that NGAD will be equipped with a direct energy weapon, a laser. This is the most advanced technology to date, if you take into account the level of development of world progress. In addition, the budget for the next period provides a huge amount for the creation of new air-to-air -air missiles. This means that the potential of NGAD in confrontation with enemy interceptor fighters will increase dramatically. Air Defense Opposition NGAD is a more advanced stealth technology that includes advanced electronic warfare systems. First of all, we're talking about the patented USN holography technology. USN holograms are a fundamentally new method of camouflage, so let's focus on it in more detail. When the system is activated, a laser is used to create camouflage or false holographic images that are indistinguishable from real ones. False targets mislead enemy pilots, trick infrared missiles, and confuse ground-based air defense operators. While the enemy attacks in empty space, the plane calmly leaves the affected area. In the recent U.S. Air Force war game, which simulated the PRC's invasion of Taiwan, the American command used NGAD for the first time. The mission was to penetrate the well-defended areas deep behind enemy lines. At the same time, it was necessary to overcome several air defense cordons. The sixth generation fighter did an excellent job. According to military estimates, the F-22 is not capable of such maneuvers, and if the Raptor tried to intercept NGAD, it would be immediately destroyed. But the F-22 is still an outstanding aircraft. Neither Russia nor China has analogs. It even surpasses the F-35 in some respects. 
The flight range and ammunition load of the F-22 does not differ much from that of the F-35. The F-22 even surpasses its younger brother in some respects. For example, the F-22 can carry six AIM-120C AMRAMs and two AIM-9 missiles in its internal weapons bay, while the F-35 can only carry four AMRAMs inside the bays. Is it possible to equip the Raptor with new weapons and thereby extend its service life and send lightning to retirement? But here again, costs come to the forefront. The base price for a single F-22 Raptor is $250 million. The cost of one hour of flight costs taxpayers $61,000. For example, the F-35 is cheaper. $180 million is the unit price, and $43,000 is the cost of an hour of flight. Initially, the U.S. Air Force wanted to purchase 750 Raptors. The service life was assumed to be around 55 years. However, when financial analysts calculated the actual cost of maintaining the already built F-22s and correlated these data with the life of the aircraft, the result was a phenomenal figure. Therefore, instead of the planned volume, 187 units were built. Another drawback of the Raptor over the F-35 is the lack of a carrier-based version, and carrier-based aviation, together with aircraft-carrying cruisers, is the foundation of U.S. national security and a guarantee of the observance of the interests of the United States anywhere in the world. So, the F-35 is newer, easier to maintain, and reasonably well-armed as part of the Block 4 modernization program. And most importantly, the F-35 is easier to upgrade than the Raptor. Therefore, it remains. To date, the number of built Lightnings in different versions has exceeded 700 units. The Air Force plans to keep the F-35 anyway, and when NGADs begin to enter service, there will be four fighters left in the Air Force's arsenal, F-15EX, F-16, F-35, and the new NGAD. There is no room for a Raptor in this square.